Hello, City Church. Welcome to another check-in video. Uh, my name is Guy, and I'll be sharing the three Ps we've been doing. I will start with a praise. Then I will talk about a promise from God, and I will end with a prayer. As a praise, uh, I would like, I'm, I'm very thankful today uh, for the weather we've been having lately. Uh, there is a, a bike track nearby where I live and I've been enjoying it and just taking my bike and go outside and, and exercise. And that's my praise. And as a promise, I wanna talk about God's timing for a second. Uh, there is a verse I like in uh, 2 Peter 3, eight and nine it says but do not forget this one thing dear friends with the lord a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years are like a day the lord is not slow in keeping his promise as some understand slowness instead he is patient with you not wanting anyone to perish but everyone to come to repentance uh, this reminded me of the story of lazarus um, Lazarus and his two sisters were, were very close friends to Jesus and uh, Lazarus uh, got sick, very sick and uh, Jesus was asked to come and heal Lazarus but Jesus decided to stay where he was in a different, in a different city for two more days and by the time he came back to uh, see Lazarus four days had passed by and unfortunately, Lazarus was already dead. And once he got there, although he had a plan, he saw how everybody was, was very sad and that moved him. He actually got emotional. So the story ends with Jesus resurrecting Lazarus. And this uh, reminded me of how maybe in today's day and age, uh, everything we do here has a timeline. Our projects ha have deadlines. Our payments need to come at a certain day. We need to make those payments right on time. And even our prayers, sometimes we need God to come through at a certain time. And our, we, we pray and we expect God to come. And, and we see how even back in the day, you know, people used to cook everything from scratch and recipes were given from generation to generation. Then with industries, uh, fast foods were created and cars were created. And not only people wanted food fast, but they, they just used the drive through and ju they just want to order quickly. And we want things to come very fast. And, and now we are, and with internet and deliveries, we just don't even want to go to the store and we want things fast. It's a microwave generation. And all the industries, everything changed except the faith business. Sometimes God is not coming, fa is not, is not coming through fast as, as fast as we want. And praying and praying could seem tiring sometimes. Sometimes we pray for the same things over and over again. Maybe we, wanna, we want God to change some of our habits. And it's like the same story every time you, you go and pray. And maybe we are praying for somebody. And it's like God is, is not really moving. And this can be very frustrating sometimes. And that's, that's really what I wanted to share today. God is promising that he's not, he's not slow. He's not late. He's going to come at the right time. Uh, we can see that in the, in the last days of Jesus, when he was, he was, he was about to be captured, he, he, he was actually weak in a place where he, he wanted comfort. And we see how he was praying more than once, even urging the disciples to, to stay awake at night, even for one hour to pray with him. And, and many times he was praying about the same thing. And, he knew what God wanted him to do, die on the cross, and, but he was, he was afraid and he, he wanted to pray. And we see that in, 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 in different places in the Bible. So today, I would like to encourage you, keep praying, even if it's past the deadline. God has promised that he's, he's gonna come through. 
Jesus didn't want just to heal Lazarus, but he wanted to make a statement. He wanted the story to use the story of Lazarus, the resurrection of Lazarus. To, he wanted to use that to encourage you and I today, thousand years later. Because a thousand day, a thousand years for Jesus is like a day, and a day is like a thousand years. So today I would like to encourage you, keep praying. If you still have the burden on your heart, even, even if things are not changing, keep praying. God is going to come through at his time. So I'd like to finish with a prayer. Thank you, Jesus, for, our, for this word you gave us today. Thank you that you are a faithful God. Thank you that uh, you, you understand us and you are passionate with us. Thank you that um, even if things are not going the way we want it to go, you are there. You will never change. Even if we change, even if we are frustrated, you will never change, God. Thank you uh, for everything you are doing for us. Thank you uh, for, your, for your mercy. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. And I pray that in this, uh, in this time, in this hard time we are going through, I pray that you will give us patience, you will give us understanding, and we pray for our loved ones. Please, God, protect them. We pray for our city, our, our country, and the whole world to be healed. And we pray, Father God, that we will, we will keep joy in the midst of everything. Amen. Uh, thank you, everybody. Be safe and healthy and blessed. Bye-bye.